Hey Magtoes, this is Vention. I am now on day shift. This is my first day back on days. I'm a refugee from the summer heat. <laughs> kind of nice to wake up so early. Basically, um, <clears throat> where I usually do in-frame rebuilds and heavy engine work, the, um, the sun just beats on that metal door and it's like and it turns my bay into something like a prison hot box <laughs> so I managed to negotiate <clears throat> a spot on day shift <laughs> during the summer thank goodness I've been there a while so I can I have enough pull to do that but um, I just wanted to make a quick video <clears throat> um, to answer a question that uh, one of my commenters had uh, asked and he was saying aren't you worried that uh, bitcoins will go to zero <laughs> and um, basically um, I panic sold about half my bitcoins like a dumbass at the bottom of a really sharp pullback in uh, 2017 and I sold for nine hundred and eleven hundred dollars, and I felt like a friggin' idiot because <laughs> uh, I sold enough to pay off what was left of the house mortgage, um, and paid a lot of capital gains tax. And man, <laughs> that was not a winning move. But I did take off all the money I had ever put into the into bitcoins up to that point. Uh, took that off the table and. Now I have a paid off house and sure it would have been better if I had held, but um, you know, water under the bridge, no point in moaning about it. It's just, it's just a matter of warning other people not to make the same mistake I did. But basically, um, I just put my surplus income, most of my surplus income into it every month, and that's all I'm willing to risk. Like when I sold my condo, I wasn't willing to risk that in Bitcoin. I I took that money and dumped it into the house mortgage. <clears throat> but if I had if I had if I had bought bitcoins with it, in hindsight, I I would be long since Bitcoin retired. <clears throat> But basically, um, there is more at stake with Bitcoins than there is with just me, basically. Um, Bitcoins are our last shot at getting sound money back into the hands of people, actual people. Um, the banksters have managed to make uh, precious metals so unattractive that uh, that 99% of people will not even bother holding them. So they just trade pallets full of gold and silver around amongst themselves, you know, the super elites. Um, but most normal people don't have it except for like rings and necklaces and stuff like that. But Bitcoins... <laughs> They can change everything. That, that allows you to hold a certain amount of wealth without the permission of government, without any third party holding it, without any uh, bank holding it. And um, there's like a little pathway. It's like the turf. <laughs> it's what's called <laughs> the totalitarian tiptoe. Uh, they basically <laughs> they basically take. Um, they basically take um, uh, a little bit of our sovereignty away every day. And I'm going to have to shoot that fucker if he keeps that up. <laughs> but anyway, um, they basically take away a little bit of our sovereignty every year. And uh, so that not enough to notice. And then pretty soon after, you know, 50, 60 years, suddenly we're all serfs. Um, got a rabbit over there they seem to wander around with impunity <laughs> but in any case um, uh, 
if we don't have some kind of permissionless <clears throat> way of storing wealth, the elites will just have eventually wrap up all of our finances into a medium in which they control and they want us all to have a unique identity and if we uh, and if we piss them off they will they'll just take away everything we own <laughs> and delete our our identity and then uh, and then basically uh, they will basically own us so it's just a matter of um, if we if bitcoins fail I mean I've got a lot more at stake than uh, than just my own personal wealth uh, we're talking uh, humanity's well-being into the future and if we don't have that uh, basically the elites the Pizzagate freaking horrendous satanic elites and you wouldn't believe some of the stuff I've found out about those people um, it's um, those people will just own us for for the until the next big huge asteroid hits and knocks civilization back to zero again which has apparently happened several times <laughs> so um, so basically yeah there is more at stake with bitcoins than uh, <clears throat> than my own wealth <laughs> uh, we're talking you know serious a serious choice between being free and being serfs sort of the rest of our you know the rest of recorded history so that's why there that's the big thing for bitcoins and um and that's basically i have prevented myself from uh panic selling again by taking my treasure and locking that bastard into the bank box <laughs> And I have my seed phrase safely elsewhere, so I couldn't even regenerate it if I if I was able. I mean, if I panicked, and like right now, I I couldn't if my life depended on it get my bitcoins, probably until Monday. <laughs> so um, so basically, that prevents a lot of panic selling on weekends at least. So yeah, that my own personal finances are a very small thing compared to what's really at stake here um, and Bitcoin is the only way to go because every other cryptocurrency every other crypto has a team of people like Ethereum, Vitalik and uh, all of these people <clears throat> who can be found and arrested and, and companies and foundations are are the coins and they'll just roll in there with their troops and take them. Whereas Bitcoin, Bitcoin doesn't have that. It's a, it's a vastly more decentralized currency. And the creator of the coin, he is long gone. And it's uh, it's unlikely that uh, you know he will ever be on the map again. <laughs> so uh, basically, there's nobody to arrest or threaten in order to take over Bitcoin. Whereas all the other coins, they all have a central team that they can be grabbed and hauled off to the gulag. So they really have no value compared to Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, they have some speculative value and some use cases, but they don't have the absolute security that Bitcoin has. Well guys, I have got to get to work. So I will see you later and don't get married. <laughs>